Hey everyone, Adam Simmons here from DGTL Infra, short for Digital Infrastructure. In this video, we discuss how Vantage Towers is accelerating 5G in Europe. The European tower market has been going through a transformation over the past 12 months in order to support strong 5G networks across the continent. Firstly, Celnex, Europe's largest tower company, completed a 7 billion euro or 8.5 billion dollar equity capital raise to fund a number of tower acquisitions in France, Poland, and the Netherlands. Secondly, American Tower expanded in Europe in a meaningful way through the 7.7 .7 billion euro or 9.4 billion dollar acquisition of Telxius's 30,700 tower sites from Telefonica. Finally, Vantage Towers, Europe's second largest tower company, completed a 2.2 billion euro or 2.6 billion dollar initial public offering or IPO very recently. Since Vantage Towers is the newest European tower company and the least well known, we break down why it is important for Europe's 5G acceleration. First, let's start off by showing you an example of what Vantage Towers owns being these steel structures that typically range from 100 to 400 feet or 30 to 120 meters in height. Vantage Towers is responsible for building and operating a site and for managing and upgrading the passive infrastructure. But what are the key components that make up the passive infrastructure of Vantage Towers? Number one are the foundations and fencing that surround the tower. Number two are the access facilities. Number three are the cable routing and fiber ducts, which connect tower infrastructure with fiber infrastructure. This is the physical connection between the tower radio base station and the core network of the wireless carrier, allowing data to be sent and received by smartphone users rapidly. Number four is the mounting equipment, which attaches to the tower a number of items, including active radio transmission equipment and antennas and cables. These are the pieces of equipment that are interacting wirelessly with your cell phone to connect you to the 5G or 4G LTE network. Next, you can see how two different tenants share the same tower infrastructure but they have their antennas mounted on different parts of the tower, either higher or lower on the structure. In Germany, this could be Vodafone Germany as the first tenant, while Deutsche Telekom's T-Mobile could be the second tenant. In the United States, this could be Verizon as the first tenant, while AT&T could be the second tenant. In the case of Vantage Towers, Vodafone is the company's main tenant, accounting for 80% of its total revenues. Notably, as networks shift further towards 5G, more equipment from tenants, being the wireless carriers, will need to be placed on these towers. Additionally, more towers will need to be built for the purposes of 5G. One reason being that 5G signals, particularly on mid-band spectrum, do not travel as far as those used for 4G LTE. Therefore, you need more towers, often closer to end users, that are broadcasting these 5G signals. Number seven is the shelter or service rooms. These house the indoor equipment for the wireless carriers, such as fiber or other telecommunications equipment, cooling systems, batteries, or any emergency equipment needed on site. Finally, number eight are the outdoor cabinets, used to house various types of telecommunications equipment. With that overview of Vantage Towers' physical tower asset in mind, let's discuss some of the key metrics for the company as a whole, to show why it is so critical for 5G's deployment in Europe. So Vantage Towers is a European tower infrastructure operator, which was recently separated and spun off from Vodafone, one of the largest wireless carriers in Europe. The Vantage Towers business was brought public through an initial public offering, or IPO, in Germany in mid-March 2021, with its shares now trading on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange under the ticker VTWR. 
Overall, Vantage Towers owns or co-controls 82,000 tower or rooftop sites in 10 countries throughout Europe. Note that of these 82,000 sites, Vantage Towers owns full control of only 46,000 sites, or 56% of the total. The remaining towers are held through joint ventures in both Italy and the UK. So where does the company own its towers? Well, Vantage Towers owns or co-controls 82,000 tower or rooftop sites in the following 10 countries in Europe. So the company owns 19,400 sites in Germany, 22,100 sites in Italy, 14,200 sites in the United Kingdom, 1,200 sites in Ireland, 8,800 sites in Spain, 3,500 sites in Portugal, 4,800 sites in Greece, 3,800 sites in the Czech Republic, 1,900 sites in Hungary, and 2,300 sites in Romania. Importantly, these 82,000 tower and rooftop sites hold much more than 82,000 tenants, as we discussed before when we show that a tower can have equipment from multiple tenants on it. For Vantage Towers, the company has an overall tenancy ratio of 1.6 times on its 82,000 towers. Therefore, the company actually hosts over 130,000 tenants on its portfolio of towers. You will also see that this tenancy ratio has a wide variation across the company's portfolio, ranging from 1.2 times in Germany to 2 times in the United Kingdom. This metric highlights some of the unique characteristics of different markets and also implies a potential for growth in markets with lower tenancy ratios, particularly since 5G requires wireless carriers to be on more towers. Finally, one other point to note is that Vantage Towers' portfolio comprises both ground-based towers and rooftop sites and is actually weighted 35% ground-based towers and 65% rooftop sites. While functionally, these structures serve the same purpose, it is crucial to understand that large steel towers cannot always be placed on the ground in the center of cities like Berlin or Madrid where Vantage Towers operates. Instead, sites need to be built on rooftops of buildings in order to provide connectivity which is especially the case in these dense urban environments, where 5G needs are the greatest. If you want to learn more about the largest tower companies in the United States, like American Tower, Crown Castle, and SBA Communications, then check out our video, Who Owns the 5G Cellular Towers? And for more detail on European towers, check out our video, The Americanization of European Towers. We will link to both videos in the description below. Also, visit our website at dgtlinfra.com to learn more about all the most important tower companies around the world, which we have written extensively about. This includes Vantage Towers, but we also summarize the quarterly earnings and acquisitions of the major United States tower companies like American Tower, Crown Castle, and SBA Communications. We will link to relevant articles from dgtlinfra.com in the description below as well. With that, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.